Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how with Virtuoso, you can download an Excel file, pass that Excel into JSON, and then assert against the contents, but also how you could then show the contents of that Excel file on screen. So what I've done is created a journey, and I've gone to a site that has some test Excel files. So let's first go and click in on the accept a cookie and continue. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look for the sample 3 XLS, and this just positions the Virtuoso bots on that part of the page. So look for sample 3 XLS. The reason for doing that is we've got multiple download buttons. So when I now go click on download, that means that we're clicking on the one next to sample 3 XLS. When we do that, and we click on this link, we see that it has downloaded the sample 3 XLS file. So now we've got an Excel file downloaded, ready to be able to assert against. Now when we do this, what we're going to be doing is using a few extensions, which I'll call out in just a second. So let's, what we're going to do is we're going to pass the XLS, we're then going to assert on it, and we're going to show the XLS as HTML on the page. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we have to navigate away from this particular page and this is due to cross-origin policy. So we're going to navigate to a page which is located on Virtuoso's AWS in a position where the file that we downloaded is stored. So we're going to navigate to that page. What we're going to do now is we need to run an extension. And so for this you need to actually install a couple of extensions which you can do from our documentation. Uh, there's a link coming up just here at the top left on a video that shows you how to install and run extensions. There we go. The ones you're going to want if we type in XLS into docs.virtuoso.qa is get and pass XLS sheets. So you just need to install this extension by adding extension. Then also what we're going to be doing is in, to, in order to show the XLS file contents on page as HTML, then we're also going to, if you type in HTML, we want to print the HTML content. We want that extension, the right HTML, so that when we run that, you'll see we'll be able to show the XLS content on screen. So make sure you go ahead and add that extension to your organization as well. But now let's go back to our journey. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to use the get. So if we type get and use the get and pass XLS, we're going to pass in the last downloaded file so when you download a file in Virtuoso, it can be referenced by the variable last downloaded file. And we're going to return uh, JSON from that. So now when we click on save, what that's going to do, it's going to pass that XLS from file that we downloaded. So if we click on this, we'll see in the side effects that we now have all of the content uh, uh, converted into JSON. So then what we could do is we could come and we could assert against that. So we could say assert that JSON dot, and we're actually gonna look into the first array. So let's look in this array here, which is zero dot uh, months uh, equals January, for example. So we could assert against that content and we can see that assertion pass, which is great. Now what we want to do here, so that's great, so I can, I've got a JSON uh, which has been passed from the XLS that I could assert on, equally I could write that into the UI. But now what I want to do is I want to use the get and pass XLS to now convert that XLS file into HTML. So again we're going to do last downloaded underscore file. Then what you can do, I'm going to put some speech marks. What you could do here is you could map in the sheet name if you wanted to, if you wanted to particular sheet. I'm going to leave that blank. So I'm not going to pass that in. And then the final one is, do I want to convert this to HTML? So I'm going to put in that that is true. Yes, I do want to convert it to HTML. And then we'll return this as HTML. So when I now click on save, that now again, it's going to pass the XLS, but now it's converted that into HTML format. And then what I can do is I can then use the right HTML, and I want to use the HTML, so I just pass that in, and then I can click on save, and basically what that should do is it now shows the XLS uh, content on screen as a web page, which then I could, uh, I could say look for uh, let's go um, January, for example, 
So then I could do an assertion on that content to be able to locate January. So if we see, there we go, I've asserted on January based on passing the XLS into HTML, showing on the screen and then asserting on it. So using a few extensions that you can install, we can download files and then you can see how you're able to pass it into JSON or HTML, assert on it if it's JSON and then convert it to HTML to show on page and then again, do assertions based on it or you, know, you could store and use the data for other purposes.